In this video, we are going to see the last minute preparation for our chemistry examination of ICC board 2023. Now these are some of the important questions that you need to pay attention to. We know that the paper is tomorrow and we have just about half a day or maybe three fourths of a day remaining. So by now you must have finished all your complete revision and you want to know what are the topics that you have to focus on. But first let us look at the important questions that we will have. We have first one is MCQs. Now if the time permits I will make one video on MCQs so that it will give you some revision. Keep looking out for that. You can subscribe so that you will get the notification after pressing the bell icon. Number two is definitions. Now this one is very very simple. Make sure that all your definitions are revised and reviewed and you know them by heart. Next one is name the following. Now name the following. These ones are also objective questions. For this you will have the organic chemistry, periodic table, metallurgy and even the reduced product, oxidized products. So it's going to be a jumble of all these chapters. Reactions. Now you know that periodic table and chemical bonding do not have reactions. But we have reactions in electrolysis, we have study of compounds, we have organic chemistry, metallurgy, there we will have reactions. Also for mole concept, we will not have reactions except for Gay-Lussac's law when they will give you an oxidation reaction uh, in which you will have to find the, the volume of gas that is produced or which is the gas that is used, how many mls, how many dm cube, how many uh, centimeter cube, those types of reactions will be involved in the other chapters. Fill in the blanks as you know is very objective, then match the following can be again very objective, this again you cannot uh, say that you will not like it, maybe if match the following of 5 marks, maybe one odd mark may be a little confusing otherwise you will almost get 4 on 5 in your fill in the blanks and match the following. Identify the cation and anion in a compound. This is from your analytical chemistry and practical chemistry. Analytical chemistry chapter will tell you how to spot the cations, identify cations and the practical chemistry will be dealing with the anions, how to identify the anions. Make sure that you watch my video on analytical chemistry. The link will be somewhere here. I'll place it. We come to IUPAC names. This is again organic chemistry. Again, very important. Go through all the different structures that you have been given to write the IUPAC names of. Remember the last years and the year before last they will give you a good variety of organic structures because remember last year is where the MCQs were started to uh, appear in the ICAC board examinations. So last year's papers, the ICAC sample paper that again make sure that you are paying attention to the kind of compounds that they are giving you, learn the rules of IUPAC names by heart and practice them. We now come to the drawing of structural formula. So we are given a compound and we have to draw the structures. It's exactly opposite of this. They will give you either common name or IUPAC name. So a few simple compounds like your ethene is ethylene. Okay, your uh, ethanoic acid is acetic acid. So you should know the common name and the IUPAC names for that. Electron dot structure is again, maybe it will come for two marks uh, maximum. But again, these are handy two marks. Remember, this is very important and this is very important. Ammonium ion can come for two marks. Hydronium ion can come for two marks. Then we come to the next type of question is question of diagrams. Now, this is mostly when you have electrolysis. They will give you the diagram for electrolysis of uh, dilute sulfuric acid or acidified water or it can be the study of compounds where we have the preparation of different compounds. Now in study of compounds we have ammonia, we have HCl, we have HNO3 and we have 
H2SO4. Know the industrial preparations of ammonia, HNO3, H2SO4. For this, there is just the lab preparation, but you have to remember the uh, dilute acid property of this and the concentrated acid property of HCl. Also know all the reactions of these three acids, how HNO3 becomes an exception because of its strong oxidizing property, which are the particular reactions for that. Just make sure that you know them all. Learn to balance the reactions. Learn to know the observations in whichever reactions you are learning. So we have observations question based on uh, diagrams. Also, question number 12 is give reasons. Give reasons and also I forgot to add over here observations. So that observations could be number 15, that next type of question. So I'll just put one arrow here. I just forgot about it. Now 13th one is ascending and descending order. Now this goes for the periodic table, the, the uh, periodic properties which are there, the atomic size, then ionization potential, electron affinity, electronegativity. Then we have the metallic character and the non-metallic character, the atomic size also. Just know what are the trends for these across the period and down the group. And that will be a very, very important question. And it is a very, very sure short question to answer. Next one is how will you obtain a compound from the given compound? They will ask you starting with sulfur, how will you get H2SO4 using an acid? So you should know sulfur plus HNO3 concentrated is going to give you this along with your water and NO2 that is nitrogen dioxide gas. You should know how to balance it, know that properly. Also. Uh, we have the metallurgy questions. Metallurgy also can come in the questions based on diagram. So electrolysis, uh, study of compounds and also metallurgy. So I've added the observations which I had forgotten to add there and also the 16th one is distinguish between. Now distinguish between will be like you will have ZnCl2 solution or ZnSO4 solution. Now here you will see that chloride and sulfate radicals are here. So what will be the reagent that you will use? That you will find in practical chemistry, revise that well. Also in distinguish between this question, if you are given like ZnCl2 and CaCl2. Now both of these are soluble uh, solids. What is different? The cation Zn and Ca, they are different. So which is the reagent that you can use? You can take NaOH. NaOH reagent, will this give a precipitate with that? Yes, it will give gelatinous white precipitate which is soluble in excess of NaOH. What about calcium? What about Ca2 plus? It will also give milky white precipitate, not gelatinous but milky white precipitate which will be insoluble in excess. So one is soluble, the other one not soluble. So you could take this, or you will take ammonium hydroxide. Now when you take ammonium hydroxide, your Zn will give you the same gelatinous white precipitate of ZnOH twice, which will be soluble in NH4OH excess. But what about calcium? Calcium will not give any precipitate because calcium cannot have any precipitate form in a weak alkali like NH4OH. Now regarding this distinguish, look at the link above i have a video on analytical chemistry please go through that so that it will help you with understanding these now distinguish between is not just applicable for, for this but it is also applicable for organic chemistry where they can give you ethane and ethene or even ethine so for ethene and ethine they are unsaturated so if they are bubbled through the bromine solution in carbon tetrachloride which is the inert solvent they will have the reddish brown color discharge whereas ethane will have no change so you know how to distinguish between these so now basically we have understood everything 
we have understood which are the important types of questions now next thing what i want you to know is which are the chapters which are going to be most important for you number one is organic chemistry okay number two is your study of compounds number three is going to be metallurgy and then we are going to have electrolysis so thorough thoroughly do this the other one is not very big chapter but it is important and that is periodic table all right so understand that these ones are important chapters which you have to really go over them again and again and again and again also calculations when there are calculations fortunately you have only percentage compositions and you have the empirical formula and we have the molecular formula also questions on vapor density are important so revise these calculating parts and i think you are well prepared for your boards all the best for tomorrow and all of you please get 80 on 80 i'm sure that is going to make you all happy it's going to make me also happy okay so all of you get full marks and all the best for all of you god bless you Bye.